the person who's in charge of my paycheck isn't real. They were pretending to be some other kind of employee. And from my understanding and from, you know, the judge's understanding, which I will get into later on, that's illegal. So the Jacksons of Atlanta have been exposed by former employees for being scammy scam artists. I do not like the Jacksons of Atlanta. I've said this for the longest time. Go watch any of my videos. Luckily, you can still watch any of my videos because they take pride in copyright claiming every single video I ever put out about them. A way of getting around this, which is to basically barely include any footage of them whatsoever, which I know sounds really silly but i just you end up in a weird dispute with youtube who won't do anything about the fact that they're not striking you correctly and i just i can't be bothered with it so annoying so there's going to be minimal amounts of footage of them but i will throw up the odd picture because they can't do anything about that if you can hear pitter passer it's because it is literally torrential raining and i live in a big static caravan so that would be the reasoning why so let us just get on with what has been going on with the jacksons of atlanta who have like i just said been exposed by this channel this guy who goes under the name son way reviews and i will work every single day and i worked every day for a good month straight i kid you not um, my friends were asking about me. I had family members checking in on me to see like, hey, like, where have you been? Why have you been like busy? They're not like overworking you, are you? And you know, when you're doing things like this, you don't want to tell your family like, oh yeah, you know, I'm so tired. Um, they're working me every single day. No, you just, I don't, I'm not a person who likes to include my family in a lot of things. So I just kind of told them, yeah, everything's fine, you know. I'm working, I'm doing something that I like, I'm showing them the videos and stuff, and everything was going just fine. But then it started to really get to me and I started to get really tired and I don't get tired. So really quick off the bat, you have Justin and you have Mahogany and they are the Jacksons of Atlanta and they have six children. They literally lie about absolutely everything. They have made so many videos when Mahogany has been like, you know, pregnant, clickbaiting the fact that, oh, we've lost our baby or there's something wrong with our baby when there's nothing the matter with them. Um, they famously had a set of twins who mysteriously were not a set of twins when only one of them was born and they showed no upset about it. And it came to fruition that actually what had happened after people did some digging is uh there was never uh, there was never a third set of twins they were never having a third set of twins they were just saying that because they already they were just trying to capitalize on it and straight after that happened they were like click baiting all the time let's talk about our third set like th they are full of crap basically and yeah that was the final straw for a lot of people their latest adventure is basically lying and telling everyone that they are filing for divorce um and you know it's not true because Justin literally put up this statement to say that he was like having some sort of a weird affair with like, anyway, basically great suspicion is the fact that they are actually lying about having a divorce just so they can separate themselves from their main channel uh, and try and get more publicity in another way. But no one, barely anyone is falling for it. And the people who are falling for it are idiots. And this guy basically came on and clarified, yeah, they're not getting a divorce, guys. They're not. Like at the courthouse, whenever we finished the trial, Mahogany was like crying and like, oh, like I'm going through this divorce with Justin, you know, all the BS stuff that they're talking about, which isn't real. But like going through all that crap and she's like crying to the judge, lying to the judge about like, I don't have the money or the funds and stuff like that. Can I get an extension? I don't give them an extension. Mahogany did actually do a, uh, she actually did a clap back, a little response video, which was, she literally said, if you do not believe me, I will leave up here linked by divorce lawyer so you can go and ring them. I'm sorry, what? So you're telling me that you have enough money to have a divorce lawyer on standby, but you cannot give this guy his money? This is what it's all about. Basically, this guy cannot get his money. They refuse to. He's actually taken them to court and they still haven't done it. Supposedly, they still have not set up a payment plan, even though Mahogany swears that they have. And Mahogany's writing in comments that she's speaking to her lawyer because she's going to sue for defamation. Um, I'm sorry, you have enough money to contact your lawyers at a drop of a hat. Um, you have enough money to do that. You do not have enough money 
to um, pay this guy what he's owed, which I think he said was a couple thousand dollars. Honestly, the whole thing is absolutely terrible. Justin was one of the owners, Mahogany was the other owner, I was the videographer, and then you have Holly who was the nanny. Notice I said was the nanny because Holly quit as well because they also owe her money. Because trust me, there is a nanny that has not been paid. There is a nanny that's not been paid, okay? There is an ex-ex videographer that I'm pretty sure had issues. We have the ex-nanny's boyfriend in the chat, literally in the chat going, hey, yeah, I'm the boyfriend of the ex-nanny. Hallie, I think that's her name. Um, she's owed thousands. These guys are scam artists. And the reasoning why, you may ask, why can't they pay even though they just purchased a Tesla Model X, which I hear is a very fancy car. like. $80,000 worth of fancy car but apparently they can go do that and Mahogany herself says that um, it's different personal expense and business expense it's like no one is asking you to purchase a Tesla model no one's asking you to do that who really cares point is is that the reasoning why why she can't pay any and I say she because she is the only one that's actually been appearing in court. Justin hasn't, even though he is just as much to blame as her. But I'm talking about Mahogany because she's the only one that's already addressing it. The only reason why they're not paying is because, oh, it's all got tied up in the divorce. That There's no money because they're going through a divorce. And I am just like, really? Because everyone around you is saying that that's not true. That's a lot of money. So you're claiming that you don't have the money to pay me the nanny, the old videographer, and the videographer before them, and the other people, they owe all of these people money, and no one has taken them to court because we all signed a contract and we signed a little NDA talking about this stuff, but our contract became void the moment that one, they didn't pay, and um, all the lies and stuff, and who we signed the contract with, because we signed it with Kathy Franklin, who doesn't exist. So I'm not going to do a complete breakdown of everything that this guy said because it wouldn't do it justice. You need to go give it a little listen if you've got a spare 50 minutes. I will leave it linked in the description box, but I'm going to give some key points. So one of his main areas of contention was the fact that he was overworked. So in the contract and mahogany tries to back this up which we'll get into in just a moment in the contract he was he had to work eight hours a day monday through, through friday but he claims that he basically didn't have any time off in the contract it states the monday through to friday which we now is eight hours during the day but on the weekends you work as needed and it basically meant that he was working you know all the time because if he wasn't working there he'd then come back and then he'd be doing even more work for them and it was just getting to a point where it was just mind-numbingly hard and he was really 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 burnt out and he i think he said he only did about a month to a month and a half which does not surprise me at all i mean their nanny for instance must get a run for their money because they're basically never around their kids um they like to just like delegate all responsibilities so mahogany basically turns around and says something to the effect that no it was always agreed that it was monday till friday but i've got no doubt in my mind that he was just made to stay really really late like he says and then he was just doing overtime on the weekends because work weekends as needed um i have like employers will surely just put that down just so that if they do ask you to work pretty much every single weekend you know you knew about it you signed which i feel like is kind of what mahogany is trying to get at he the reasoning why he feels like he can speak out right now why don't they want me to call this assistant which by the way is in charge of giving me my paycheck and stuff like that well i say paycheck but they would just transfer the money into my account they didn't do a paycheck they didn't do any kind of form of payment that could be traced back so i thought that was kind of weird again so you know more and more red flags are stacking on top of each other so the whole thing with kathy is kathy was the point of contact when it came to uh, my pay and she would send me an email to confirm like hey you're getting paid this amount on this day and it's like okay cool i know how much i'm getting paid so um the thing about kathy is like i said you know kathy doesn't exist do we all remember kathy you know kathy who justin and mahogany would talk about all the time like oh kathy our assistants deal dealing with it kathy is gonna do this was meant to be the person that was paying him organizing all the affairs she's not even real so she's actually put down on the payment plan or whatever the hell is going on the contract for payment she's not even a real person and 
this guy basically turns around and says, you know, that great big business that they list of, you know, this great big business for Jackson's Enterprises, the great big house building, whoever, whatever. Yeah, they don't actually go there. Like, it's all complete smoke and mirrors, which I'm sure a lot of us could guess anyway. But I'm sure that that would be a pretty crazy thing to experience if you didn't really know a lot about these guys and you started working for them. And then you found out that they were treating their staff really, really poorly. He says that, you know, on one occasion, occasion he was made to work over his lunch break he was extremely hungry and when he actually pressed justin uh, there was lots of other stuff that had happened in the meanwhile like i say go watch the video but justin had basically told him like no you eat when i tell you to eat uh which is just a really like what the hell but like i said i mean i can't expect anything less from them I, re I really honestly can't and i think that more of their employees should start speaking out and Justin, I kid you not, you know, these are Justin's words and um, this kind of caught me off guard, especially Mahogany's behavior because I felt like, I thought that Mahogany was the more like reasonable person out of the two, but this quickly made me realize that that wasn't the case. And I told them that I didn't really appreciate that and I feel like they should be a bit more mindful with me. You know, I'm very mindful with them and their time and stuff like that. So I think it should be, you know, both ways. But when I told Justin that, him and Mahogany got very offended. And his words were, I don't give a damn if I'm on a yacht and I'm eating a lobster and shrimp. I tell you when you eat, you know, I'm doing, I'm eating for a bit. I'm not eating to just like be rude and stuff in front of you. But the nail in the coffin was when he was basically emailed by this Kathy woman who once again does not exist uh, to told, yeah, we're having an issue with funding right now. So we can only pay you half your paycheck. Uh, and when he actually went to Justin and said, um, yeah, that's not going to work for me. I, I, I quit, essentially. Justin then turned around and said, well, then you're not having any money then because you're leaving us in a really difficult situation. And he's like, well, you weren't going to pay me anyway. Like, what is it with you? They ended up going to small, small claims and they won the case. And guess what? They still haven't been paid. They still haven't been paid whatsoever. And there is Justin Mah and Mahogany out here buying Tesla X's, whatever they're called, and buying all this stuff, pretending that they're going for a divorce, which by the way, I still do not believe. And Justin sits there and he tells me in my face, he's like, yeah, you're probably not gonna get that. And I'm like, excuse me? And he's like, yeah, you know, if you quit, you're just not gonna get your paycheck because you know, you're know you leaving at a um, like last minute. And I'm like, one, this is a paycheck that you guys messed up. What do you mean I'm not going to get that? This is an error on your part. Who the hell puts their lawyer's, like, details up on the screen so that people can ring them? What the hell? Like, is anyone going to ring that number? I swear someone, someone must have rung that number by now. Who is doing that? No one is ever going to agree to that. Anyway, beyond the point... Um, they still haven't paid and Mah Mahogany is out here saying that she set up a payment plan and I don't think that's even the case. So in this reply on Mahogany's video, someone was basically saying like this is an easy fix. He should sue you for defamation of character or if you're telling the truth, sue him. Uh, and Mahogany said this. Absolutely. I'm working with my attorney on this as we speak because getting online to defame, lie and slander is not okay. All I can say is just good luck. Good luck because I don't think it's going to work. I mean, has anyone been following the law and the mortician lawsuit? That's not been going too well. That's not been going too well at all. Considering you have no money, it's pretty funny how you all of a sudden can cough up enough money for a divorce lawyer, a lawyer for people to speak to, and then a lawyer for defamation. It's pretty incredible stuff. Them kids have never been outside since I've been there, ever. They always keep them inside the house. They never go anywhere. The kids never leave the house. So that was kind of annoying. Um, whenever we did that one video where they're like throwing the stuff out um, and the kids are helping them move everything. That was the first time they've been outside. And even the kids are like trying to enjoy the time outside. And they're like, oh, like trying to put them to work. And like, let, you know, let these kids have fun. You have a backyard. And so, you know, you guys see them. The, the, there was one video where they had that big bounce house inside their house. Um, that They rented it. Um, it wasn't actually theirs. Clearly, it wasn't theirs. The next day, they sent it back. They gave the kids like 15 minutes to play on it while we filmed. Once we finished, they ended up, you know, 
packing it back up and sending it on. And I was like, these kids have nothing. So something that really is quite sad as well that we were all predicting is that, I mean, Justin and Mahogany, it doesn't look like they spend a lot of time with their children. It looks like they, the children spend a lot of time with their nanny. They don't really leave the house. If they do leave the house, it is a main event. And this was clarified. And this was also clarified in another creator's channel. This guy went on there again. Uh, this channel is called LA Gossip Girl, I think. I will just leave it um, up here. Into more detail about how there was there was actually a time where Justin said that the nanny or the neighbor was going to come round and look after the kids. Um, and they had left the children home alone. Um, and maybe this was a regular occurrence, but, and there's a lot of other stuff as well. And should they need to be brought down? Y'all go report her stuff. Um, he's witnessed them leave the kids in the house. He's witnessed, you, do you remember anything else that you witnessed? Oh, and as far as like the kids? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. The whooping things, obviously, that I mentioned that. Um, and you did even witness them like being upstairs all day. That's not a lie. Yeah, anymore. like that. I mean, like, and Hollywood speak on that as well. Like, cause she, they would have her be up there with her as well. <laughs> but, um, yeah, having them upstairs all the time. Um, as far as the diapers, oh my gosh, Justin would have them sitting in the diapers the entire time, even if they like pooped in them. Um, they would be sitting in them for whatever dumb reason. They would recycle diapers because they were too cheap to buy diapers. And I don't know if you guys know, but me and Holly are messaging each other. Mm -hmm. And Holly told Mahogany that she doesn't take that um, video down. She's just going to make her own video. So I'm pretty sure that's Because she that's lied on it. That's what it was. Yeah. I knew she did that. I knew she was not friends with that girl and stuff. She's crazy. Like, why even make a response, though? Basically, they would only use their children for content. The minute that the children were not used, were not wanted anymore, they would be discarded. And that is absolutely horrifying. But sadly, this is what sometimes happens on family channels, 100%. Um, but the way they're treated apparently is not very fair, which I think is just absolutely disgusting. Now, I have not been keeping up with either of them on their own personal pages because I just believe that everything they post is, it's phony, it's not true. I don't believe any of it. I've always said that I have felt very, very sorry for the kids in all of this. That has been number one, what I felt most sad for is because, you know, I don't believe this divorce is real. A lot of other people don't believe it's real. Apparently they are broke. Apparently they don't have any money and their kids are like allegedly not eating very well, um, et cetera, et cetera. But it's all smoke and mirrors and it's what Justin Mahogany are basically playing into this whole divorce thing. And, you know, single mum, single dad. Um, just imagine just how jarring that is for the kids. You know, it's no secret. Um, it's all being, you know, unveiled now. They, they essentially had their kids back to back for content. Justin and Mahogany are not pastors and I don't understand and why they continue to lie about it and how their fans actually believe that they're pastors they're not they aren't religious even in the slightest they use god to get a bunch of followers and things like that and you know christians are gullible i'm just gonna upright and say it. christians are very gullible you mention the bible once and people are like oh yeah these are like very godly people and you got them so they took that and they ran with it. I will leave all of the videos linked that I've been talking about. Go and give them a watch. Like I say, I'm not going to break everything down. It will not do it justice. They could be suing for defamation. I'm like, mate, say, Mahogany, save your money. Save your money and then uh, save your money and then pay your employees. Pay them. I'm pretty passionate about the fact that these guys need to be off the internet. They need to be off of YouTube. And I've been saying this for ages. Anyone who lies about losing kids and anyone who is doing this to their own kids allegedly is just should not be online. I just think that the money got to their heads a long time ago and they just need to disappear off the internet. Anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys wonderful day wherever you are in this world. Take care of each other, take care of yourselves, and I will catch up with you guys in the next video.